but I am proud of all of the uh, service people. I am proud of our tribal membership, as small as we are. Even though sometimes we don't know what the call is, if we're called, we go. Um, some days I feel the same way when I get up and I'm heading to town or to Phoenix or wherever for a meeting. I'm not sure what I'm gonna get into, but there was a call and it may benefit us, so I better get there and see what's going on. So to all of you that are here today, all of you veterans, uh, park residents, anyone that's taken the time to be here, welcome. Um, we are a five member council. Uh, two of our council people are in uh, Washington, D.C. They should be in the air as I speak coming home today. They've been there since Monday, so they weren't able to be here. I'm not sure my other two are. I think maybe they might have got lost. They don't know where the place is. I don't know. But we have uh, five members. My vice chairman is J. Uh, D.L.B. Gay, Jr. And we have council members uh, Edmund Dominguez, Rosa Long, and Erwin Twist. So between the five of us, we try to get as much done as we can in order to keep our people where they are and hopefully moving forward and also be in tune with all of those and our, our, our patrons, our various businesses, keeping, uh, making sure our programs are going to help our people uh, because that is our goal. Uh, that is our goal. That is my goal for being here. Again, my upbringing, uh, where I came from is never forgotten, and I think about that every day as I make decisions and as I look at what the future may bring us. That's what we look for, what's good for the people. We don't want to go backwards, we want to move forward. So thank you to all of you. Thank you for all your service to this country. I am very proud of this country and my family for the services they provided. So on behalf of the Kukupa tribe, I say welcome to you this morning and I hope you have an enjoyable event. Thank you very much. <laughs>